kinesiologist and elite personal trainer Brent Bishop shares functional fitness strategies in our weekly online web series. If you're a runner, you like to hike or you like to cycle, you've probably experienced this before. You're towards the end of your activity and you see that daunted hill in the distance. Now you try as hard as you can, you do make it up, but you seem to lack that power to get that final finish. I'm going to show you an exercise here that really can generate that power back into your stride or back into the cycle. Now a lot of these sports involve mechanics where you're using uh, the muscle, the hamstring in the back of the leg that's generating power from the hip joint. So this particular exercise helps with just that. You're going to go into a single leg position, it's called a single leg deadlift, it involves a little bit of stability. You're going to bend your knee, we're starting on our left leg, shoulders back, core tight, slowly move forward, keep that natural curve in your low back, feel the back of the leg stretch, exhale and pull yourself right back to the top. Now, there is a lot of stability involved in this exercise, you can step it down a notch and start with both legs on the ground first, doing the exact same movement. The difference between the two, of course, is stability from the ankle joint, the knee joint, and also your pelvic lumbar stability, which is very transferable to a lot of functional sports, like the cycling, hiking, and running. So how do we take this exercise and elevate the level of difficulty? Well, what we can do is we can add another exercise to it, so it's a combination. So again, going into the single leg deadlift position, you're going to reach forward, slowly move forward from the hip joint, and we'll reach parallel to the ground, keep your neck neutral, draw your blades together, without shrugging the shoulders and then bring them right back down again. Now what you've done is you've added the use of a lot of your back muscles, your postural muscles, you're drawing those blades together, great for posture. Uh, of course, there's a lot more stability involved, so it is an advancement from the previous one. Now one thing, and quick nutrition tip for you to keep in mind, before an intense workout where you're working the large muscle groups, like the hamstrings, it takes a lot out of your body. So you don't want to go into this situation on an empty stomach. Suggestion would be to have a meal at least an hour and a half to an hour prior to that involves protein and carbohydrates. And another little quick tip, try to have an electrolyte drink throughout your session and keep your energy to the max all the way through.